It's the Friday before spring break, lads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Spencer Walter, and this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, here's the lineup for scheduled college visits. Remember, you must have a pass from the Counseling Center to attend these visits. Check these out! Today, the reps from Norwich University, a private military school in Vermont, will be visiting the NJROTC classes during periods 1, 2, 3, and 5. If you'd like to attend this college visit, get your pass from the Counseling Center. April visits kick off with the reps from Colorado Mesa on April 3rd. On April 10th, the reps from the Barbizon Southwest School will be here at lunch in the Lower Commons. And then, on April 17th, the reps from Western Colorado University are scheduled to visit. If you missed any of the dates for these visits or want more information, stop by the Counseling Center or check their website. We'll be back after the sports update with an update to Day Without Hate. But first, we're sending it to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Jeremiah Jones. Thank God it's Friday, Glads. I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Juniors and seniors, listen up. If it's spring, it must be powder puff time. Sign-ups are happening this week on Miss Melton's door in room 103. Ladies, you will be playing football, and gentlemen, you are needed to be the cheerleading squads. The game is scheduled for April 17th at 5 p.m. following the tailgate at 4 p.m. Please see Miss Melton for the details. Our WHS forensics team is headed to their state tournament today and tomorrow. As we speak, the team is on their way to Mountain Vista High School in Highlands Ranch. We wish them the best of luck. Speaking of forensics, if you did not get your wristband and you are wearing PJs today, please be sure you get one after the noon. Ladies and gentlemen, cheerleading tryouts will be happening after spring break on April 9th through the 12th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. in the small gym. If you want to try out, pick up your application in the main office. Since the coach is not in the building, if you have any questions or need more details, see Mrs. Miles in the athletic director's office. Switching to tennis news, remember our Lady Glads will be facing the St. Mary's Pirates on Tuesday, April 2nd at home at 345. Come out and support our Lady Glads tennis team. In swim and dive news, the boys jumped into the pool against the Pine Creek Eagles on Thursday afternoon, but couldn't find their buoyancy or speed and lost to those birds. It's early in the season, so just keep swimming. The boys will be back in the water after spring break for a tournament at Cheyenne Mountain on April 4th and 5th. Our Gladiator baseball team was on the road last night against the Fountain Fort Carson Trojans. The struggle is real this year for our Glads and they lost again. Fellows, we believe in you. Shake it off over the break and come back strong in April. In ladies soccer news, the ladies must be thinking too much about spring break because they couldn't focus on the game last night and lost to the Cougars. No worries, the ladies are off the field until April when they travel to Elizabeth on Tuesday, April 2nd at 4 p.m. And now, as promised, here's this week's installment of Damon's Dose of Health. It's a little long, but full of great information and suggestions. Take it away, Mr. Damon. Hi guys, you're on with Damon's Dose of Health, and today we're gonna to be talking about mental health issues in teenagers. So what are some possible warning signs of mental illnesses? Sadness or hopelessness, low self-esteem, sluggishness, substance abuse, and spending more time alone. So what to do about mental disorders? I think something that's very important is to establish a positive mentality and outlook in your life. Focus on being in the moment, do something for others. One of the reasons why this is important is it gets us out of a cycle of being self-centered. Something else that you can do is really evaluate the peers and the friends in your life, and try to find a good circle of friends that, you, that you're able to talk with and work through some of these difficulties with. Reduce the amount of technology that you're exposing yourself to, including social media, and spend time outside or spend time doing activities with friends. Concentrate on things that you're grateful for rather than the things that you don't have. Concentrate on what you do have. And finally, eat well and exercise on a regular basis. Thanks guys, this is Damon's Dose of Health. Thanks, Mr. Damon. Glads, remember, if you need to talk, we have great counselors, amazing nurse and health technician, and other mental health professionals in the building who can help you. Don't suffer in silence. In track and field news, our Gladiators teams are once again headed to Gary Berry Stadium this Saturday to compete in the Terror Invitational. We have some of the fastest runners on this young team, so if you can make it out there, they would appreciate your support. And finally, while many of us will be basking the week away doing nearly nothing over spring break, Luis Ibarra is on his way to Reno to begin the first steps of his future as an Olympic boxer. Check this out. Oh 
my name is Lucy Barr. I'm a senior here at Whitefoot High School. I'm trying out for the Olympic trials for boxing. We know that. I am a seven-time back-to-back Colorado State Golden Glove champion, eight-time Silver Glove champion. Uh, I won a gold medal in China. I won a silver medal in Ireland, representing the USA. And I am a five-time national champion. Some of my idols growing up uh, would be Oscar De La Hoya, uh, Manny Pacquiao, and Luis Cesar Chavez. What I learned from these my idols growing up was, you know, confidence is key and confidence and staying focused on the mission and not making the fight too big. You know what I mean? So it becomes as far as the training part and the dieting part, usually wake up by five four thirty five, usually get at least three to five miles in on the treadmill at home if it's too cold outside. Come to school all day, get that done. After school I work with my personal trainer. He um, we do a lot of calisthenics, plyometrics. From there, I go straight to the gym, bag work, speed bag, um, get some sparring in, get some mitt work in. By that time, it's already 8.30. Get a look at some uh, good protein, some eggs and stuff, and on to bed. My dad doesn't like me to starve because it's just not good. And we have a nutritionist, and he plans out basically an eating plan that I'm going to have so I don't like, you know, go into a fight, you know, starving, uh, you know, not eating. So. We put more protein into my diet, you know, less carbs, just more protein, you know, not as many fatty foods. Um, we cook our chicken just in water, we cook it in water, so no oil or anything. I miss cheeseburgers. <laughs> and sleeping habits, I try to go to bed early, wake up in the morning, usually by 5, maybe 4.30, get a little run in, so I don't know, just more preserve my body, basically. Do I feel like I'm missing out on anything? No, not really. You know, I have amazing friends here and we get to hang out. I mean, not as much as I would like to, but we do get to hang out. I get a lot of quality time with them. Uh, basically, it's just separating my time, you know, time management, really. You know, the school I know is here at Whitefoot. Um, most of the teachers always stress time management. And I take that serious, you know. I always like to divvy out my time just perfectly. Here at the school, you know, they support me. You know, even though it's not a school sport, you know, the teachers work with me and they give me my homework. Um, when, I, when I'm walking around and running around in the neighborhood, they're like, oh, there he goes, he's running, the boxer. Uh, they help me out, you know. And I, did, I think they already do a lot, of, a lot for me, and you know, I do appreciate it a lot. My best advice for young athletes would be stay true who you are, you know. Stay humble because, you know, all these people that you're growing up with, your classmates, teachers, you know, your parents, friends, those are your, that's your real base, you know. Without them, you wouldn't be you, you know. You wouldn't make it to where you are. So just stay true to yourself. What excites me the most about this opportunity is the chance to, to represent the state. I'll be the first one to be trying out for the Olympics from Colorado uh, for boxing, and you know, hopefully, maybe eventually represent the country. Ultimately, I want to become the first world champion here from Colorado because we we don't have a, we've never had a world champion here from Colorado in boxing. So I just want to become that first person to you know get my hand raised and raise that world championship belt. From all of us here at WHS, best of luck in Reno, Luis. That's all we have for you today for our Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Jeremiah Jones. Now back to the news desk with Corinne and Spencer. Thanks for the update, Jeremiah. And now it's time to hear what we're having for lunch with Miss Betsy and her crew of helpers. Happy Friday! Nine pounds of peanut butter. That's all I got to say. Takes a lot of peanut butter to make a lot of peanut butter cookies. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Okay, so what's for lunch today? Soup! And then what do we have when we come back? Let's have surf and turf. What do you think? Steak, Steak and lobster. And lobster. Woo -hoo! I think we should have spaghetti and meatballs. Um, Look like giant, like nine pound meatballs. Okay, we could do that. Have a great one, everybody. Safe Hope break. you enjoy your break. Safe break. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, remember to add money to your lunch account in person or online so you can stay off condition. Glads, we have one more test prep session after spring break before the PSAT and SAT exams. Sign up now in the library for that Thursday session. Juniors and seniors, after spring break, prom will be three short weeks away, so save the date for April 20th. The big dance will be at the Doubletree World Arena from 6 p.m. to midnight, and outside guest forms are now available in the main office. The deadline to return those is April 12th. 
Ticket prices are now $50 until April 16th. Remember, you will not be able to buy tickets at the door, so get your tickets soon. And remember, your ticket price does include dinner. Glads, come check out the Engineering Showcase on April 25th at 6 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. Our aspiring engineers will be presenting their senior projects and the activities from all the engineering classes. April 25th is also our district-wide Day Without Hate. This year's theme is Do What's Right, Not What Is Easy. Mark your calendars because the first event we are sharing is the request to wear white on April 25th. This whiteout will show the support we are giving to this cause. Stay tuned as we share more events and information as we get them. And finally, GLADS. Many of us set up accounts with the new hydration system called InStream, and the machine and the bands are experiencing some communication difficulties. If you have not been able to dispense water because of system glitches, contact the company by email or on their website so they can use this feedback back to better serve customers. Remember, we are a test site for this product. Oh, and keep in mind that because of district contracts, we cannot purchase water from this system 30 minutes before lunch, during lunch, and 30 minutes after lunch. If you have been successful dispensing water, please provide the company with that feedback as well. Thanks for listening today. I'm Kern McAfee. We have nine days off for spring break. And I'm Spencer Walter, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great spring break.